Shields at 95%. Select your destination. Destination. USN Australia. Central Life Support. Preparing for thruster ignition. Please hold on. Drift off. Arriving at destination. The exit door is at the rear of the cannon. Come on, give me something that won't kill me. Shields at 95%. We're closing in on one captain. Ooh, that was close. The air dock here should connect to environmental control. Jesus. Shields at 50%. Shit. Shields at thirty per cent. Just 
Service access located. This air duct leads directly to main life support. Not far now. So babe. Jack. Don't Jack, smack you're me. Here. You're really here. <coughs> Are you injured? Oh, nothing permanent. I guess I have you to thank for that. But I'm down to my last tank. And it's running low on air. What's going on? This ship. There are people on here. They're wearing Atlas uniforms. I think the ship is ours, just not from now. What? Thanks, that, that really clears things up. How the hell did you find me? I had help. Help? From who? Everyone's dead. Jack, I think I can interface with the computer here. I may be able to show you. Jack, be careful with that. We don't know what anything in here does. I'm familiar with this design. What are you doing? Connecting to the main computer. Maybe it can help us. I tried getting it online. I think it's trashed. No nope. systems compatible. Rebooting diagnostic protocols. What the hell? Identity verified. Captain Olivia Rhodes. Updating personnel files. Jack, what's going on? Who? What is that? This is Apollo, an AI construct I encountered on the ship. We've been traveling together. In accordance with succession protocols, this ship, such that it is, belongs to you. Congratulations on your promotion. Seriously, Jack. What the hell is that thing? Apollo, state your function. To preserve the integrity of the ship and ensure the safety of all Atlas personnel on board. Got a fine job there. Your characterization of my failure is apt. Hmm. You are the only Atlas crew member I am still capable of serving. All right, Apollo. Tell me how to get life support back online. Emergency systems are unable to cope with damage on this scale. To restore life support, we'll need to activate the main reactor. Jack, can we trust this thing? Apollo has had ample opportunity to betray or abandon me. His desire to help us appears to be sincere. I suppose that's a start. Apollo, can you restart the reactor from here? Negative. The failure is mechanical. Someone will need to enter the core. I suggest a division of labor. I'll talk you through the repairs here while Jack brings main power back online. His radiation shield should offer adequate protection. I don't suppose there's another option. Many, but their odds of success are bleak. Will you be all right here on your own? I can't say I'm too keen on sending you into the heart of a malfunctioning fusion reactor the moment I got you back, but it doesn't really look like we have a choice, does it? One of the access vents leads to a main artery of the electrical grid. If you follow the conduit there, it should lead you to the reactor. Captain Rhodes, there is a utility hatch behind you. Inside you will find the main power distribution block. Acknowledged. On it. All right, Jack. I'll see you on the other side. Right, Apollo, you're the tactical AI. Yes, 
Is there an explanation for all the guns? The Estrella was constructed as a ship of the line assigned to security detail on Ceres. Ship of the line? The solar system's been united since colonization began. There is no simple explanation for someone from the colonial age. Colonial age? When was this thing built? The Estrella was christened on October the 26th, 2570. 400 years? So, if you're from the future, what happens to us? That information is of no strategic relevance. Oh, come on. I am the captain. Do I have to pull rank? Official records indicate Kronos 2 was destroyed by an unexplained spatial phenomenon. Olivia Rhodes was designated missing in action. There is no mention of Jack. That's... not exactly encouraging. Apologies. I am programmed for fire control and tactical models. I do not excel at giving bad news. No kidding. If it is any consolation, there is no mention of my arrival in your time stream. So accounts of the incident are at best incomplete. If I believed our plight to be hopeless, I would classify this operation as salvage, not rescue. The contamination here is significant. The added energy of the ship's electrical systems appears to stimulate the biomass so it's feeding on the systems we're about to reactivate great i didn't say it was a perfect plan What class of reactor is this? Fusion, I assume? Yes, but not the kind you would be familiar with. It is catalyzed by antimatter. Antimatter? You're asking Jack to handle antimatter? Oh, not directly. He'll just be pointing high-intensity plasma beams at it. It's very safe. You can handle that, can't you, Jack? Certainly. If today has proven anything, it is my core system's ability to adapt. Can't argue with that. It's been one hell of a day. I've reached the control room. Excellent. Once you enter the main chamber, assess the status of the satellite generators. They power the magnetic containment field. Is that how you stabilize the antimatter? Affirmative. Lasers. Oh boy. Shields at ninety five per cent. cells in place. Confirmed. Now re-establish the generator's link to the containment field. Look for a control panel nearby.
magnetic field stabilizing. And radiation levels increasing. So they are. I'd get that last generator online as fast as possible if I were you. Once it's active, the containment field should be strong enough for us to restart the reactor. Shields at 50%. Shields at 30%. Shit. Reboot initiated. Jack? What happened? I lost you on comms. My shell was infected by the biomass. Infected? Guess it's a good thing I didn't touch it. Shields at Shields at 50%. I don't think I'm supposed to be back here. <sighs> oh, shit. Reboot initiated. Good, I got it out. Jesus. That was horrifying. Shields at 95%. Yeah, don't care about that. I got this bad boy. Final generator operational. Now to connect it to the containment field. Magnetic containment field fully operational. It should hold during reactivation. Should. Theoretically. We'll know for sure once Jack has returned to the control room and aligned the plasma beams with the core's intake valves. Do make sure they're in the right position, Jack. The reactor won't initialize unless they're perfectly aligned. Plasma streams aligned, ready for reactivation. Reactor systems coming online. Initiating reaction in three, two, one. What was that? One of the complications I spoke of. Fortunately, it does not seem to have caused any further damage to the reactor. So we're not all about to go out in a giant antimatter annihilation event then? Not presently, no. I'll take it. Great job, Jack. Now get back up here as soon as you can. I may need your help to finish this up. I'm en route. Piss off.
You must be joking. As predicted, our repairs appear to have disturbed the biomass. I recommend caution. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I am unfamiliar with that member of the crew. Those service pylons are now online. You can use your scanner to activate them. I'll look for an I.O. port. dead person. Reconnect the main power conduit. Just be careful. The current is now live. Apple. Conduit clear. Almost there. Slow and steady, Jack. I'm still finishing up repairs to the environmental controls. Don't get yourself killed on my account. Shields at 95%. Jack. Good, you're here. Well, we're about ready to repressurize the chamber. Jack, please seal the vent doors behind you before attempting to activate the system. Pressure seal verified. We can now cycle the flow control from the main console. Warning. Oxygen levels critic. What was that? Nothing. It means we should hurry. Flow control open and stable. Exercise caution around vent openings during gas infusion. Oh, thank God for that. Pressure levels rising. Oxygen outflow higher than anticipated. Attempting to compensate. Warning. Pressure unstable. What happened? Unknown. Attempting to compensate. Oh, pressure levels falling. There's a breach. Can you locate it? I'm unable to pinpoint a specific disturbance. Meaning what exactly? Meaning the ship's so riddled with holes he can't find the leak. If you keep ramping up the pressure, you could tear a hole in the hull. Apollo! Shut it down. Unable to maintain atmosphere. Shit. We need to find a sector that we can repressurize. The bridge is the most heavily reinforced section of the vessel. It likely survived the bombardment. How far? The bow of the ship. I'm opening the bulkhead into the main gangway. I have redirected your fury transport to meet us. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. 
Return to habitat. Better hurry. Let's go, lady. Jack, my suit's already distressed. Please don't grab onto me. Fair enough. Select your destination. Destination, U.S. and Estrella. Punch Bridge. it. Preparing for Please thruster admission. Please hold on. Just go! Activating thrusters. Apollo, are you certain the bridge can withstand pressurization? As certain as I can be. The bridge is one of the most structurally sound areas on the entire ship. I would estimate our chances of success are roughly one in three. One in three, huh? Well, I'd really hate to have to live on those odds. Unfortunately, Captain Rhodes, you do have to live on those odds. That was sarcasm, Apollo. She was joking. This hardly seems like an appropriate time for levity. Never mind. Just get us to the bridge. Jack, you... You caught my joke. It was a good joke. Try and stay focused. We're nearly there. Apollo? Another EM fluctuation. They're increasing in magnitude. We can deal with the fluctuations later. Right now, our only focus is helping to keep Liv alive. Agreed. Approaching command deck. Reducing speed. door up ahead will take us to the command deck. <gasps> Let's go. Olivia, wake up. What? Well, yeah. I, I'm, I'm here. I'm awake. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. I, I just... Just give me a minute. You go ahead and lead the way. I'll be right behind you. You better, because you don't really have a minute. Warning. Oxygen levels critical. Return to habitat in Shut the... up! O2. Down to 1%. We need to get you to the bridge. All right. Get the door. Come on, let's go. Shit. Liv, Liv, wake up. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I'm here. Just a bit lightheaded. Let's, uh, let's just keep moving. The bridge is just up ahead. I don't see any spores on this deck. No, no visible contamination of any kind. That's, that's got to be a good sign, right? Not necessarily. The biomass primarily spreads through the ventilation system. Until we can inspect the vents, we cannot assume this deck is safe. Apollo, I... 
I really hope you weren't the one in charge of morale on this ship. We will need authorization from a command crew member to open the bridge airlock. Liv, would you- Apollo, just unlock the damn door, would you please? Voice authorization accepted. Airlock controls released. All right. Yeah, Ben, I'll be sleeping again. Live. Wake up. Olivia. Yeah. Sorry. I'm good. Just hold on. It won't be long now. Come on. Captain Rhodes, I suggest you take your place at the command station. And please try to remain conscious. Yeah. Now, Jack, in order to restore atmospheric pressure, I will need to rewrite the bridge logic core. You will find it near the forward console. Core located. The rewrite procedure is identical to the one we performed in life support. Understood. I'll move the core to the override slot. Core in place. Yeah, yeah, already Proceeding done it. with scan. Rewrite successful. Copy. Returning core. Core locked in. Do you have access? I now have full control of all Holy essential crap. bridge functions. How long will it take to repressurize the cabin? Accessing environmental controls. Stand by. Warning. Oxygen reserves depleted. Return to habitat immediately. Check. My my O2 tank zeroed out. It's going to be all right, Liv. You're going to make it. I'm scared, Jack. I know. Just hold on. I'm going to help you. Oh, God. I can't. I can't breathe. Apollo, we need life support now. I'm afraid we have another complication. What is it? I'm detecting trace amounts of the biocontaminants in the bridge ventilation system. Any attempts to repressurize will flood the bridge with poisonous spores and kill the captain. Tell me what to do. The bridge environmental system consists of four air vents. You'll need to inspect each one. Incinerate any spores you find with your reactor cutter. Got it. Jack. Jack, I can't see. Everything's... Everything's blurry. Nitrogen levels in her blood are rising. Activating an emergency medical capsule. Liv, you have to stay with me. Keep your eyes open. I can't. I can't. Yes, you can. Focus. Oh, God. This isn't... This isn't happening. Please, Liv. I need you to stay with me. Jack. Hey. Hold on. Just hold Jack. on, Liv. You know what? You know what? I... Where the hell are the other events? to go to series anyway. Liv? Liv. She's lost consciousness. The vents are clear. Re-engage life support, now. Accessing environmental controls. Restoring atmospheric pressure. Oxygen outflow, nominal. Apollo? Hull integrity is holding steady. It's working. Atmospheric pressure restored. Habitable zone established. Breathable atmosphere detected. Liv? Olivia. Negative respiration. She's still not breathing. Please. Liv, wake up. Ventricular fibrillation. She's going into cardiac arrest. What can I do? There's an emergency defibrillator. There, in the medical locker, by the entrance. Apollo, the medical locker is sealed. You should be able to cut it open. I've got it. Quickly, connect the defibrillator to the side of the medical capsule. Defibrillator online. 
Attach the electrode panels directly to the medical capsule. The current will pass straight through. You need to pump the handle to build up a charge. When the power level reads blue, press the hollow button to administer the shock. Clear. No response. Again. Charging. Clear. Negative. Still in defib. Again. Jack. You may be too late. Clear. Jack. She's gone. No. Again. Clear. Charging. Clear. Jack. <coughs> Jack? Morning, sunshine. <coughs> very... Very funny, Jack. Blood oxygen levels returning to normal. Heart rate 64 BPM. She's stabilizing. How are you feeling? Like I've just been electrocuted. You frightened me. I thought I'd lost you. So you are going to miss me. <laughs> Hello, Captain Robertson. I am relieved to see you are not dead. Thanks. You, uh... You wouldn't let me out of this thing? Do respect, Captain. Protocol requires you remain... I do what she says, Apollo. Thank you. I'd like it noted for the record that I am strongly Sir, opposed noted. to this decision. Now let me out. Ugh. Are you sure you're all right? Just, just a little sore. I'll manage. Apollo, what's happening? Excessive damage to the power grid has triggered a rapid destabilization of the main reactor. What does that mean? If we don't find a way to stabilize the reactor, the containment field will collapse and destroy the ship. Oh boy. Options? There are a number of solutions I could attempt, but only one holds a reasonable chance of I like this, am I? We could execute a faster than light jump. The amount of energy expended by an MTL jump may be enough to stabilize the reactor. What would happen if we jumped? Where would we go? Unfortunately, I'm unable to calculate a destination solution. In truth, we actually have a much bigger problem. Oh, good. Because I was waiting for a much bigger problem. The last time this ship performed a faster than light jump, it resulted in radical temporal displacement. Wait, you... You're saying if we jump, we're going to time travel? I'm not certain, but it is possible. This is insane. The energy buildup is accelerating. We don't have much time. Are we really doing this? It's worth the risk. Yeah. What's the worst that could happen? The FTL drive collapses mid-jump, creating a singularity that instantly tears us to pieces on the molecular level. Apollo. Nice. What? I'm not supposed to answer that. Screw it. If I'm gonna die, I might as well do it going faster than light. Very well. Before we can execute the jump, we will need to redirect all available power to the FTL drive. This requires manually powering down all non-essential systems. Walk you through the procedure. Or we could just break them. Well, yes. I suppose that would also work. That's. That's rather brilliant, actually. Reactor destabilization. Apollo, how do we access the primary system components? Use the engineering station to open the maintenance panels. All right, I'll expose the components. Jack, get ready to cut through as many of those systems as you can. Got it. On it. Primary weapon system is disarmed. I think it's working, Jack. Try another. Defensive countermeasures in our control. We're getting close. Keep cutting. Jump press. Let's go, let's go! Apollo! Main engines report green. Ready 
to execute the Tiota. Do it, Jack! Punch it! Live. Look outside. Oh my god. Where are we? Stand by. Taking a reading now. Live. It's Saturn. No. No. I'm afraid Jack is correct, Captain. We are currently in geosynchronous orbit over Saturn. Apollo, what is the current date? Astrometric positioning would suggest we have arrived sometime in the mid-26th century. We jumped forward 400 years. Approximately. So this is your time? To put it simply, yes. This is my time. What happened here, Apollo? You were looking at the aftermath of a skirmish this ship was involved in prior to our meeting each other. Who are you fighting? Why would... What is that? Contact. Incoming vessel. More trouble? Negative. USN transponders. They're friendly. USN Estrella, this is Transport Cruiser Juno. Do you copy? Liv, you should answer them. I should? You are the captain. I say again. Estrella, do you read? Um, yes. We read you, Juno. This is Olivia Rhodes. Captain Olivia Rhodes. Copy that, Captain. We have a solid lock on your signal. We're also reading a tactical AI on board and a... Wait. I can't be right. I am an echo unit. Serial number E101-324. I'm sorry, Estrella. Did you say you were an echo unit? You can just call him Jack. An actual functioning echo unit? Must be quite a story there. Just sit tight. Rescue team's inbound. ETA, ten minutes. Understood. Estrella, out. So... We're stuck 400 years in the future. It would seem so, yes. Well, approximately. No way to get home. None. Okay. So tell me, what's the proper protocol for this situation? Improvise. Good answer, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> 